Hey everyone, I'm Mike Rylander and this is What The Fark. Let's take a look at today's top weird news headlines. Up first, we head to Germany, where a ketchup label design enthusiast discovered the greatest ketchup label QR code Easter egg of all time. Well, Pittsburgh ketchup maker Heinz is apologizing after a QR code on one of their bottles took a man to a porn site. Daniel Carell says he scanned the code expecting to enter a label design contest, but instead it took him to an X-rated site. Heinz says they got rid of the website once the contest ended in 2014. Now as a form of retribution, Heinz has offered to send Carell a free custom design bottle. And to make the deal even sweeter, the porn site to which Carell was sent has also offered the German man a free membership. When reached for comment, Carell was found locked in his bedroom, refusing to answer the door. Leave me alone, Mom! I'm scanning my ketchup bottle's QR code. Oh yeah, I scan you so good. Oh yeah. Up next, we head to the image sharing website Imgur, where a photo of an inflatable Baymax, the big friendly robot from Disney's cartoon hit Big Hero 6, has gone viral because of the interesting way the manufacturers decided to design and attach the inflation nozzle. Haha, <laughs> yes, we can all have a good chuckle at the big funny penis thing attached to the gentle giant robot. But what about the kids whose parents bought that toy for them? They're not chuckling. They're scarred for life. Why are you crying, buddy? I'm just blowing your buddy Baymax. Is he not, is he not big enough? Look, I'm blowing him as hard and as fast as I can, all right? If you think it's so easy, why don't you blow him? And lastly, we head to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where 35-year-old Aaron Stein was arrested for attempting to rob a bank with a makeshift bomb he built himself. Underneath the driver's seat was the device that police say he used in the robbery. Makeshift bomb that he made out of a box, black up tape, a vibrator, and a uh, uh, cell phone cord. Ah yes, the old glue a bunch of shit to a dildo and pass it off as a bomb trick. Okay, I know we could sit here and ostracize the guy, but considering how many times this has worked before, is that really fair of us? <laughs> okay, we don't need to go there. I mean, we believe in free speech and everything. We just don't want to die. Your category is trendsetters, okay. and here's what you'll be drawing today. All right. <laughs> Once again, I'm Mike Rylander. Thanks for watching. You can watch all of our episodes at WTFark.com, and you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. And lastly, here's a little reminder why having a dinosaur as a pet is a horrible idea. No. Hey, over here. No. You're not going to do that. Because...